Part 3 Listening Comprehension In this part, candidates are asked to listen to a maximum of three recordings, two based on radio telephony and one in an informal style. There is no visual contact between the interlocutor and the candidate during this section. Prior to each recording, the candidate is asked to listen for specific details. Each recording is played only once. For the final stage of this part, visual contact is resumed, and the candidate is prompted to talk about one of the operational areas from the listening items. Comprehension and interaction are both assessed in this part of the TEAP. There are two questions for each recording, and the candidate may take notes. To be assessed at operational level, a candidate should correctly answer at least half of the questions, as well as demonstrating good interaction by checking and or clarifying tasks or questions, or by stating when they have not understood key elements. As candidates at higher levels of proficiency may not need to deploy such strategies, extended or expert levels of comprehension may be indicated if the candidate provides greater detail in their answers. If a weak candidate shows obvious difficulty in providing answers for the first two recordings in this part of the test, then the interlocutor may choose not to play the third recording, this is because it is only at extended or expert level that good comprehension of an informal style is expected. To conclude this part, the candidate is invited to talk in general about one of the contexts in the recordings. It is the candidate's speaking ability rather than his or her understanding or knowledge, which is assessed here. In this part of the interview, you're going to hear some short recordings of non-standard situations in aviation. You will hear them once and you can take notes. I'm going to turn so you won't be able to see my face. Before each recording, I will ask you two questions about the incident, and when the recording is finished, you'll tell me your answers. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. Okay. For recording one, listen to an ATIS report. Question one. Where is the crane operating? And question two. What is the dew point? Uh, sorry, can you repeat uh, where is the, the first question? Where is the crane operating? Okay. Yes. This is Zidane Information Tangret 15200, runway in use. Two seven right. Airport information. Crane operating south approach of runway. Two seven left. Heavy machinery and man working. Threshold runway two seven left. Surface wind three three zero one four knots. Visibility eight kilometers or more. Cloud scattered at three thousand feet. Broken at four thousand five hundred feet. Temperature two one two point one five. Q and H. 1021 on initial contact report information Tango received. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the crane operating is uh, 25, 27 left and the temperature the point is 15 degrees, 15. Thank you. For recording two, listen to a ground controller talking to a pilot. The call sign is Clamair 16. Question 1. Where is Clamair 16? And question 2. What is behind Clamair 16? Round. Claimer 16 request pushback from stand 24. 
Clement 1-6, hold position. There is a light aircraft passing behind you. Roger ground, but I've got a slot time of 3-5. Clement 1-6, time is 2-7. Runway in use 1-6. I'll push you back in a few moments. Ground, Clement 1-6, if we don't make this slot time, we've been told to expect a delay of 3-0 minutes. Roger, Clement 1-6. I'll call you back in a few moments. Clement 1-6. Pushback is approved. Caution. There seems to be a truck behind you. Clement 1-6 is pushing back. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the aircraft is in uh, standard 2-4. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I haven't understood well what is behind the aircraft. I think some traffic. Some traffic. Thank you. For recording three, listen to two aircraft operators talking about some new technology. Question one. How do the two men feel about the new technology? And question two, what problems are they talking about? I'll start the recording. So we're thinking about this idea of installing the dimmable window system in all our executive fleet. Yes, I like the idea of central control and it certainly looks good. But it's a retrofit, so what about the downtime? They tell us it's gonna be less than a week, but I should phone some friends and ask how it was for them. Yes, and I want to know more about the maintenance too. Shall I look into it? Uh, they think that they are simple control, that is a simple control, mm -hmm. but could have uh, some problem uh, with the electronic field. Thank you. In the second recording we heard a pilot talking about his slot time. What factors can affect an aircraft's slot time? Uh, Sorry, I understood. What factors? What factors can affect an aircraft's slot time? A delay. You mean a delay? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know. There could be a lot of problems, uh, like a uh, uh, problem with passengers who are not uh, as fast. Maybe some problem with the aircraft. Uh, I. Uh, and those a problem with the slot uh, for uh, ATC problem when I was uh, in Spain. Uh, nothing else, I think. What problem did you have? There was a strike of the French uh, controllers, so the aircraft couldn't uh, take off for return to Italy, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, we lost uh, is our slot. For this. And did you take off? No, we take off after five hours. And where was your aircraft for those five hours? It was in the standing uh, on the stand. And were the passengers on board? Yeah. We stayed uh, on board for five hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs>